right, welcome back, everybody. You're with us here on Cape Rugby TV. Uh, remember, if you've got match footage or sponsors that you want to give exposure to, please let us know. Send it to us. Get in touch with Faisal at Western Province. Tell them that you want to have your show, your, your, your match on TV, and you want to give your sponsors some exposure. Look, for example, with Lukman Adonis and his construction company, Caledonian Roses, this week would have gotten exposure uh, with a hundreds of thousands of people. And uh, that's what we're looking for the clubs to do, is to show that they can get TV exposure by sending us the footage, sending us your jerseys, and this is how we empower club rugby. It's the only way to do it. Media comes first. TV media comes first. And if you're not on TV, well, you're going to have to carefully think about where you're getting your exposure. TV is still king, stays king, especially here on Cape Town TV, where Cape Town TV monthly reaches across the country with close on 2 million viewers. Of course, Cape Rugby TV being one of the primary shows on Cape Town TV and has been looking after Western Province Club Rugby now for a number of years. So please take advantage, send us your footage, and put your sponsors on the video so that uh, we can start moving in the direction of getting local business to invest in the clubs. It's the only solution for club sport. Let's take a look now at the second half, Western Province Rugby against Free State at the Cape Town Stadium. There we go. Welcome back. Um, uh, uh, Jerome, overall picture, you happy with the result? Yeah, uh, good. I just think that uh, they let um, uh, Tita score three tries. So um, I think Stanley and uh, other coaches were not happy with that. But overall, it was good. 59-27, yeah. uh, I think is a good result. Good result. We'll take it. We'll yeah. take it if we can get it. Right, folks, let's take a look at the uh, results, of course, that came in over the weekend. Super League A, um, Unimol, 38-35 with a win over Marty's. Villagers went down by just one point to Durbel. False Bay with a win over Helderberg. Tigerberg with a win over NTK, 34-14. St. George's beating UCT and Kales River going down to Hamilton's. Um, uh, uh, Jerome, uh, Unimol will be happy with that result, taking advantage, of course, of that home ground advantage. Yeah, definitely. And also, I think Marty's 
have, because they finished with the varsity cup, so they have a bit of a stronger team, so that's a good result there for them. Another big result that yeah. jumps out for me there is False Bay over Helderberg. We weren't sure if False Bay were going to get it together. Helderberg ha has been strong from the beginning. Um, yeah, Faisal, I don't know if you want to jump in there. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I mean, you, you know, looking at Helderberg last year, you would have thought it would be a lot more close than that there. And I think with the discussions that we had now, the build-up, you know, before the season and that there, I think, you know, False Bay will definitely take that win yeah. and be happy with it. And Jerome Tigerberg over NTK, 34-14. Uh, I must say, NTK put up a good fight, but just not enough on the bay. Yeah, uh, I think they've been doing well. Scores quite closer than, than last year. But I think they're still in trouble. They still need a win or two. Yeah. I think the last result I want to just look at here is uh, UCT obviously did not learn anything from Marty's, uh, considering that last year, this time, St. George's beat Marty's at home. Yeah, obviously it's gonna be, it, it was always going to be tough for UCT because coming their, their team played last yep. week in the final. So they still didn't have their strongest team. But... Uh, it's tough at St. George's, so that's a good result here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go straight to Super League B. UWC with a win over Franchuk. Belleville went down to Grafontaine 27-15. Belha with a win over Hamlets 34-30. Langa going down to Hands and Hearts and Van der Stel beating Strand 38-16. While Kalamo had a win over All Saints 31-26. I think a result that jumps out for me there, Faisal, is Belha's win over Hamlets. Um, Hamlets coming down from Super League A. Belha seems to be stabilizing. Uh, Ashwin Sprague uh, coaching there, but yeah, good result for Belha. No, definitely, I think again, you know, Belha will take it. They also a team that's very uncertain. Uh, you know, one week up, one week down. Hopefully, they are consistent now. Um, and uh, again, you're looking at all those results in Super League B, JP. I mean, it's fantastic to see the margins and how close it is, and you know, it just shows how competitive it is. Yeah, uh, let's go to Super League C now. Uh, Blue Jets went down to Panil Villages. Macassar with a win over Paul. Esther Rafir went down to Busy Bees Gardens with a win over Young Peoples and Primrose 32-27 over Scottsdale. Uh, I think I'm going to jump on the Primrose result there, um, uh, Jerome. Uh, Primrose will be happy with that with that win. Yeah, Primrose will be happy with that win. Um, like I said, I was uh, at Primrose two weeks ago, and um, they were really working hard, so it's a good result for them. Yeah. Yeah. In the City League, we see Elsie Srafir 43-3 over Police, Caledonian Rosa with that win over Silvertree, and the Mannenberg Rangers beating Western Zebras. Elsie Srafir, um, 40, well, we've got that result already, but Young Stars, 24-all draw against Watsonia, and Rocklands, 8-all draw against Titans. While in the Northern League, we see Salorians beating Raithley by just two points. Windmill United, 28-all over Blakes, Gordons Bay Pioneers drawing with Excelsior. Big win for Delft over Albion's 53-19 and Stelco beating Whistling Wheels. Uh, Faisal, your comments on the Delft game? Yeah, I know. I mean, that, that's a surprise. That's a shock for me. But again, I mean, I'm looking at everything earlier on. I also looked, you know, speaking about the sponsors, I saw Mr. Marcus, AL Marcus sponsor and that there. So definitely you can see the clubs within the structures and that that yeah. are working hard, especially on the admin side of things. You can see a lot of things are happening. And I think, you know, looking at the teams again in the top nine, you know, uh, the Northern League is a, is a league that's very competitive. Your fixtures then coming up this weekend, folks. We'll see in uh, Super League A. In fact, there's a few games tonight. UCT Kelsover, Marty's Brackenfeld, Unimil and CPUT. Jerome, any comments on the Wednesday games? Yeah, look, it's good. Uh, like most of the universities are playing now because they have to catch up. So I think there's some interesting games here. I think that... Uh, the Unimo uh, CPUT game is going to be a good one. First time for CPUT in the Super A. Super League B fixtures this weekend. All Saints and Belha, Strand and Franschhoek, Van Estelle and Belleville, Kraafontein, Hands and Hearts, and All Saints and Belleville, at least Belha. For anything jump out for you, Faisal? Van Estelle, Belleville? <laughs> I, 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 I think Van Estelle is going to be a team that's going to be there on top. Yeah, all right. In Super League C, it's Blue Jets and Makassa, Young Peoples and Masi Pumulele, Strand United, Atlantis, Rangers and Gardens, Busy Bees and Scottsdale, Goodwood and Primrose. Jerome? I think the one day for me is I want to see how Atlantis are doing uh, against Strand because they've been doing quite well last year, so we'll see how they do this year. Yeah, all right. Also take a look there at that match between Goodwood and Primrose. There's going to be another interesting result. Uh, City League sees Mannenberg Rangers up against Caledonian Roses, Silver Tree and Violets. In the Southern League, it's Peninsula and Young Stars, Watsonia and Titans. Northerns in retreat, Lagunia and Young Wesleys. And, of course, in the Northern League, we see Excelsior up against Silurians. While in the Pal region, it's Simondium and Allendale, Violets, Pal and Riverstones, 
Peril United take on Lower Pal and Young Standards up against Young Gardens. Gentlemen, in the Pal region, the, the game that jumps out for me is Young Standards and Young Gardens. They were playing musical chairs in the Pal region last year. Faisal, that's going to be a tough game. Oh, definitely. One of the top contenders, as always. Uh, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see who uh, yeah. comes out top. Yeah. Uh, Jerome, your plans for the weekend? Yeah, obviously the ladies are playing at City Park, uh, but they're playing earlier, so then club rugby after that. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Faisal? Also at City Park, but I just want to put a, put a, maybe put a message out there. We've got under 20 trials this weekend. Um, right. All the ladies uh, that's playing you know, in, the, in the women's league uh, between the ages of 19 and 20, make sure you come out. Um, I think the key thing is, you know, with, with, with the juniors and especially with the, uh, the under 20s, it's about, you know, we've got the structure going. Uh, we're looking, you know, for committed youngsters and that there. So uh, if you're at a club, make sure that your name is down and make sure that you're out in City Park on Saturday. And just finally, if you are watching the show, uh, how do they get that name to you? If it's, if it's from a club, does the club phone you? Does the player who's maybe watching the show now go to their coach? Just to make sure that if they're watching, there's a pathway, which... Yeah, so the pathway, like I said, is through the club. We have uh, sent out mail through the club, identified a number of girls in that age group. If your name is not down and, you know, between the ages of 19 and 20, make sure you come out there. We want to make sure that we reach out to as many yeah. ladies as possible, give everybody a fair opportunity, and then from there, you know, we do our sifting process. Great stuff. All right, folks, that's a wrap from us then this evening. We'll see you again, gentlemen. We'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Yeah. Thanks. All right, that's a wrap from us. We'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Have a fantastic rugby weekend. Bye-bye.